Hello there, this is Mr. Fingers Talking Hands from Bad In Your Tricks. This video that you're watching us is sent any special, but I haven't been on hiatus, uh, even, I don't know how to pronounce it, hiatus in Finnish, but uh, I haven't done just videos, there's uh, many reasons I don't to explain all the things. One reason is that my computer's hard driver is all the time full. I should do something for it, and also many other things. Well, there was a reasons I haven't done video videos lately. A couple of reasons. But let's start. I went to flea market. It's been now last video that I made was about. I made it a month ago, over one one and a half month ago, and I up uploaded it a couple of days ago. Uh, yeah, lazy one. And uh, now I got the chance to go to the flea market and this time also a little bit different ones for me that I don't, I haven't been yet. Uh, this uh, first CD that I bought is something that I thought I already have it, but I haven't find it. it so I think I don't have it. But it's the strokes. The, is this it? And other other albums from them I haven't listened so much. Maybe I should. But this was cool because it's the it has limited bonus DVD. Uh, there's more text than there is uh, songs on that DVD. But um, yeah, it, it it looks like there's just uh, five songs. But yeah, still it's cool. Great album. I love it. Then I found reggae album. Uh, this was so cheap. I had, had to take it. I liked reggae music, and it is um, Kaemo, Kaemo, Lapit Tulen, Through the Fire, and uh, it could be also Through the Fire power metal albums song name so uh, album name or song name but it isn't it's reggae music and it's a christian reggae band and if wikipedia knows right they have made only three albums and there isn't kaimo anymore usually they had eight members on stage but a couple of times or once i don't know even 12 person and it's a pretty big crowd and yeah nothing special if you like reggae you might like it it's kind of poppy pop style well this is Miljona Sade, Sade, <laughs> Miljona Sade, Miljona, Million Sade, Rain, Stupid Groove, and it's not, it's in Finnish, even though name could tell something more. It's there's a Finnish uh, singer uh, Heikki Salo who makes also lyrics, and he's a really good with words he have been teaching also other people uh, to write uh, poems or uh, lyrics for the songs and there's a song called i don't know how can, can i say it out loud but it's not something about something but it was ra kind of radio hit on some point at least small one and i wouldn't say this is the best ones at least what i remember but he's a great ly with lyrics so i had to buy it also uh, another one who's great with lyrics <coughs> but different way uh, ye karjalainen Electric sauna, an electric picnic is album name. This has been 
119 marks in Antila, uh, the store that I loved to go also when there is when there was Antila, and it's really groovy. He has a, about lyrics. He has a, this uh, uh, really story telling storytelling style and he likes American music and you can hear it from also on some songs. My favorite is uh, maybe biggest hits from hits from here uh, Hölme Nuore Sydän. Try to listen that. I love the keyboards here. I love those sounds how they sound. Uh, yeah. This is something that I already had, um, no doubt, but I love, this is, to me this is at least right now this is still the best ones, best one, uh, there's no bad song at all, at, for, at least for my ears, and I had all, already pirate version from both from Tallinn, um, there was a, I guess there were Russian copies or something like that, but yeah, so I thought I will buy the real one, uh, it's somewhere over there, do I see it, no, but yeah, it was only 3 euros, I have been seeing it often, so I thought I will take it. About reggae, Jaakko Löytty isn't reggae guy, but this is Christian uh, style, and he's not a singer, he's a more, at least for, well, for Bob Dylan isn't a singer for some people, so we all have different view to this, but... Uh, He's a kind of storytelling guy, maybe also, um, but uh, and this a is the Pave Mayan. I don't know because Pave Mayanen is on also on this album. He has been working with many many other artists and Heikki Silvenoin. He has been playing also with Larry Norman and uh, on some gig. This was from 1984, and I would say back then there wasn't many reggae artists in Finland, so this was closest to them. And <clears throat> this is something at least um, um, Steve Carson should check, because at least as you can see from here, uh, it's kind of looking African style and Havash, I have no idea what it means and this, this those pictures look like uh, I don't remember was he that he has been living in Ethiopia or uh, I might be wrong now maybe it was in Ethiopia and you can hear it also in his music and same place that I found the Kaemo Lapitulen I found this um, Kaemo Armosta. This I haven't listened yet. Or was it? Which one I listened? I don't remember anymore. Maybe it was the Lapitulen. But yeah. But Kaemo, a very interesting thing is that it has been produced and some of the songs also has been done by Jonas Ulsson who has been doing also uh, working with Amorphis that is a kind of death metal band and Carl Listo which is, which is post metal band and uh, it is Robin which is a pop star and then the, he's doing also reggae and I love especially if I think that this Robin how it sounds it's it's better than, better than Justin Bieber for my ears. Uh, I mean how it's it's produced. 
Then I found Queens of Stone Age, a Era Vulgaris. I listened it once, I don't have so much to say about it yet. And then, then the last one and the greatest ones, well, I like especially. Especially my favorites are No Doubt and the Strokes from here. At least now, this one I have to listen more. This band I have listened and many of you have listened these songs. Well, it's Sapattivuosi. Sapattivuosi and embossed here is written Tuomion Koura, Hand of Doom or something like that. I was thinking when I bought this, I, this would be gatefold, but it's just a thicker... I don't, stupid me that I didn't see that one. But this is uh, uh, thicker because there was a two vinyl. And here you see those songs and there was also one seven inch. Well, this is also vinyl, but so there is technically three ones. <clears throat> Sabbath was, as you can guess, is Black Sabbath cover album, cover band. Uh, but this is released, this vinyl version, by Svart Records. Oh, record company, you should check if you like metal music or strange music and yeah this is their first two albums first one and there is uh, it's empty because it's i'm just listening it uh zero of grave killing yourself to li life w wizard uh, snow blind solitude iron man fair Fair wear boots and sanky NIB. I don't know which song you like. You should listen. And this wasn't meant to be on on record first, but then they went to. I think they went to. If I understood right, they went to uh, record demo, and then there were men meant to say that hey let's record for album and it's it's nothing specially except as you can see the lyrics are in Finnish this is their second one and there is a, a picture that many of or or even the most of the Finnish people recognize this angel because it's so it's so common it's so common and here is also never say die sweet leaf war peaks a spiral architect after forever simply of no universe and dirty women um never say die is great one listen that one and they are just Black, black albums, vinyl, and let's see. Complete early works from Finland start topping neck breaking Black Sabbath tribute band make their vinyl debut in this handy two LP one seven inch box set. Sabbath was his holy mission is to spread the black gospel of Sabbath in Finnish and. This they have done with dedication for nearly nearly two decades now. This sets LB, LP contain their complete Sabbath cover selection from Ozzy era. And later they did also other album and it was made with Marko Hiatala who also has been playing bass guitar in Nightwish and been singing and has great great sound and then they were focusing to Dio era more I love that stuff even more than these ones but this was something that I was thinking to buy but I didn't and then they, it was sold out maybe or something and now I found it from flea market 
and you unplayed so I thought still in still in the tree string <coughs> mm. so I bought it and there's a small booklet in English they're singing in Finnish but the booklet is in English and there's also small guess what this is mm. these are the guys and guitarist also playing in a band called CMX I guess also that one is especially some people might like also uh, even though they are singing in Finnish some has more progressive and some isn't so progressive feeling there but yeah that kind of stuff I love this and I'm really happy that I found this afterwards I found also other <laughs> vinyl and but I already had bought all these and I thought well you have it feels a little bit why didn't I buy it but I, but I have to always remember you can't have it all and there might be come time for that other vinyl and Steve Carson remember Jaakko Löytyy Havashi maybe Kuusimba or Niin Tulvi Havas. I, I maybe. And I don't know. Maybe you would like it. Uh, at least they are singing also in Finnish. Bye bye.